first, let's talk about AJ Fletcher. You know, his UFC debut. What a warrior. It was a close fight. Your thoughts on his performance? I knew it was going to be a tough one. I mean, I knew the guy was a big puncher, and there was potential that AJ could take some damage, and he got cut up. But, um, you know, I was surprised on his on his wrestling and the takedowns he was getting, the top control. But the third round, you know, we just spent too much time on the bottom when we gave up a takedown, and I think that's what lost the fight. Well, that's what lessons are all about, right? You know, you lose one and one going into that third, and it was a kind of fight I wanted him to be in, you know, to, to really dig down and learn what 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 the competing at this level is. So it's good for him. It's his first loss. It sucks to see him see him lose, but I know the kind of guy he is, and he's going to use that to fuel him and, and get better. He's lucky to have you in his corner. In terms of you, let's go there because uh, UFC 272, Colby Covington finishes his business, and we hear him call out. You, you were in, on vacation, right? We saw on social media. You're, you're chiming in. What do you think of the call out? Uh, I mean, it's cute, you know. <laughs> good way to put it. Yeah, it's all good. It's uh, it, it is what it is. You know, people want big fights. That that's a big fight. He he wants a big fight. You know, obviously he's not in line for the title fight. He lost twice to the champ, so he probably needs a few more wins. Uh, but I would think, you know, if you want to get back to that that strap, you got to fight. Welterweight contenders, you know. I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm going to go into welterweight, if I'm staying at 55, we'll see. But it is what it is. Well, what do you make of him in general? Uh, I, I, you know, it's working for him. He's got people talking. You're asking me about him. But um, it's not. It's just not my style. I, I, that's what I, I dislike about the sport nowadays. You know, Nate Diaz has also. That's been a, a rumbling thing back and forth. We heard it was signed. We heard it wasn't. What's the story with Nate Diaz? And is that someone you want soon? Yeah, Nate Diaz is a fight I want. Uh, need, you know, been watching him and his brother forever, so it's exciting for me. The matchup would be fun for the fans. That's more likely than the Kobe fight. And when do you expect to be returning to the Octagon? This summer. This summer, I think it's going to happen. And in terms of divisions, do you have a preference on where you go? I mean, and what goes into that criteria of making that decision? It's just I can still make 55. It's just uh, how I want to spend my days. Like if I want to be in camp dieting hardcore or, or maybe living a little bit more fun camp where I can eat and, and I feel like uh, heal up and, and just have fun training, you know, not hating the diet. We'll see. I, I'm not making any any huge decisions right now. Just kind of playing the options I have. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.